Hi, it's Michaeli here from Black Knight. This time round, I'm going to show you a little bit about usage and how you can gauge what you're using and how you can see it and all that. Okay. So first off, you need to go to your control panel and log in. And once you log in, depending on how many packages you have with us, you might end up in a package or you might need to select one. So let's work on the basis you need to select one. So you go to select subscription. So I'm going to choose this Linux shared minimus and I'll go over here and I'll select it. Then if I go into the statistics and analysis section, now web statistics, depending on whether you've got a Linux plan or a Windows plan, that could open up AW stats or Webalizer. But what we're interested in seeing is how much we've used in terms of disk space, bandwidth and those things. So we go into resource usage. Now, unfortunately, you know this can be a little bit confusing because there's a lot of there's a lot of information presented to you on the screen but once you get an idea of how this is organized it's not that complicated okay the ID numbers over on there that's an internal thing so you don't have to worry about it. resource then that's the bit you're interested in so let's say for example if we were to go to uh, let's say disk space quota okay so how much disk space well, actually disk space itself is probably easier so we go to disk space here so that here we've used 5.5 megabytes out of a total of 10 gigabytes so we've got plenty of space left and how about bandwidth because that's something that people always worry about you know is my website using a lot of bandwidth now bandwidth is down here under traffic okay so so far this month that's that site or that well this plan has used 721 megabytes which is less than one gigabyte it's not a very very busy site now I've got a total of 100 gigabytes available to me, which means I can still do 99.3 gigabytes. So I don't think that's going to happen. And you can see the last time the system updated. So it just updated um, about four hours ago or something, okay? So for example, if you were looking at um, databases, now we offer support for Postgres, uh, we offer support for MySQL 4, MySQL 5, and MSSQL 2005. So, in my case, I'm not using any MSSQL 2005 databases, and I'm not using any MySQL 2004 databases. I am, however, using one MySQL 5 database out of a possible maximum of 30, so I can create another 29. Now, I haven't created any new databases since May 10th. So how much space are the databases using? So just scroll up here and you'll find database disk usage. You go across and you can see it's using 27.3 megabytes out of a total of 2 gigabytes. And since 27.3 megabytes is such a small portion of 2 gigabytes, the system doesn't really care and just goes, well actually you've pretty much got 2 gigabytes left. Okay, and there's a bunch of other things here. So, for example, you can see you know mail hosting. You can see things to do with PHP four, PHP five, websites using Apache, sit custom docs for four hundred fours, all these other things. And what you get each time is you get your current usage, your total limit, the number of units or the amount that's still available for you to use. And the last time the system updated it and you can organize each column like that so for example if I organize everything by the most recently updated you'll see these things are all updating regularly and they're of course traffic disk space and the database disk space because I'm, I'm running a site which uses a database and it's adding content to it all the time or I could organize it by the limit so you can do it that way or that way you see some of the things we offer we give you an unlimited number the amount of the usage you can order it by availability either one way or the other and of course if you don't like the way the resources are ordered you can change that you can also do things like searching so let's say for example I want to find every single resource using disk okay it doesn't have any and if I put an asterisk after it, it'll match it. So you find every single item there which refers to disk. 
where I could want to find traffic. There you go, and there immediately, all we get on the screen is just the traffic usage and nothing else. So there you go, and everything is available for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, via our easy to use control panel.